everybody. Yeah, that uh, introduction clip with my loco running on air. Uh, if you're interested in, in seeing the video where I put the first airline test on, which I did the other day, take a look back at that. Uh, today though, I'm, I'm moving on to the actual pump because while I've got the, all the airline pipes attached, I want to try the actual pump. The actual actual pump itself, the body, I did that in another video a while back and I had to do a modification to a standard pump and uh, I'll just take camera off and I'll, I'll explain about this modification quickly uh, on the loco. Right, a quick explanation of this modification to this pump then. So on sweet pea then you've only got two, two axles to contend with so under normal circumstances your pump, bod your, your pump body fits to this side of the stretcher and the stretcher acts as a blanking plate. So because I've got this middle axle in now, I can't do that. I've got no meter made drawings to work to so I've, I've made this up, up out of my head and uh, I've also made it so that it can be removed from the loco once the boiler and the smoke box is in position. So what I've done, I've, I've machined a slot in this stretcher so that I can work from under loco like this put the pump between this axle and the stretcher twist the pump round and then slot it into that slot like that and then it just bolts on with three bolts onto the stretcher and then I'll have my blanking plate on the back and then once the eccentrics fitted the eccentric strap I've got to then come off of here with a connecting rod over this axle to pick up the slot in the piston there to make the con rod for the, for the axle pump I've obviously got to get a connecting rod to bridge this axle so what I'm doing I've set the eccentric to its uh, minimum stroke that's with the piston fully in so I've got that set to its minimum and I've made a little template up just with trial and error really and then offered it up to this eccentric strap and to the piston to make sure it's going to bridge the axle when it's on its maximum stroke like so, so it's on its minimum stroke and on this side here I've got three quarter inch clearance because when it gets to its maximum stroke it's going to move over 5 eighths so I've allowed 1 eighth of an inch before it hits the axle I want to cut this out of some brass I think it just says make it out of mild steel but I think I'll use 1 eighth brass plate and then braise this end on Are you still with me? Okay, then I've got I've got all my components now made for me actual pump, which is here on the drawing. Uh, I'm just about ready for assembling it all now, and I'll just explain a couple of things before I assemble it, and then I, then I'm going to put it onto loco, give it a try, and then uh, I'm going to make a a temporary water tank up so you can see it pumping water hopefully anyway pumping water so but that's for a bit little bit later on um, right so the back if you're making the meter made you've got to make a separate blanking plate 
for the body and I've put an o-ring in mine where the elbows fit this is the um, the top ones the let me get this right the top one is the feed to the boiler the bottom one is the feed from the tank and when you make your elbows that like like I've done with them this length here is important in relationship to the hole where the ball seats you need to end up with one thirty second of clearance for the ball apparently same as the uh, the hand pump when I did that if you take a look back at that apparently if the ball's got too much space behind its seat it oscillates and it don't pump as well I'm no expert but I'm just telling you what I've read up in from the book so obviously you've got to measure the depth of the seat put your ball in measure to the top of the ball measure the length of your thread on your elbow and adjust everything to suit I'm ready for assembling then so I'm going to put the backing plate on first So that's it basically fully assembled. Obviously the other side of the eccentric strap's got to fit, which is already on, on my loco now. And obviously I can't put it on loco in one piece. I'm just showing you how it's all going to be assembled on loco. I'm going to move over to loco now then and uh, assemble it. Have a have a test run to make sure it's all moving okay. Then I'm going to couple a a temporary water tank up to it and show you it pumping hopefully Right then, that first trial went okay, yeah, without any water in. Uh, everything's a little bit tight, but uh, I've got to get that eccentric bedded in yet. Anyway, I've just had my dinner and I've got this old bean, in it, bean can here. I'm um, just coupling some pipe work up to have a trial run with some water. I've got the pipes loosely connected, I've just got to... Um, want to find my spanner. I've just got to nip them up. So I've got the uh, bottom of the tank here, that pipe's going to the bottom of the pump, that's the feed from the tank, 
and then it, it, the output to the boiler is coming up back to back to tank here. That's it then, uh, everything went to plan, it's pumping ok, just needs a little bit of running in. That's my actual pump finish now then, so I don't know what, what my next part will be, but I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching then, bye for now.